Every one of our designs starts in the CAD CAM room, as you can see, where we'll spend hours analyzing each design from all the angles, three-dimensionally. It really is important because the torus ring is such a different cut that it, it really has to be done in such a way that the design really brings out the look and the difference of this cut versus a traditionally cut gemstone. Of course, once the design is finally refined and we really have given it the final approval, then of course off to the manufacturing it goes. Here you can see a jeweler working with it and cleaning it up right as it comes out of the casting. It's kind of nice to see how many steps and levels one has to go through once the ring has been casted out of the master mold and is sitting in the hands of the jeweler. There are so many different steps of sanding, grinding, and polishing long before they actually start setting gemstones in the design. Every one of my designs has my logo in it, which is the layer plus the quality of the gold. Here you can actually see the laser engraving the actual logo so each ring is given the hallmark stamp of my design. The classic input of every torus ring is the stone inside the torus ring. Here you can see the jeweler laying out the tubes or the little rivets that are going to go in the middle of each stone, laying the diamond in the middle, getting ready to set the diamond into each and every individual tube set. This is quite an extra step that takes a lot of extra care, not just getting it ready and having the tube fit right, but as you can see coming up shortly, setting this inside the torus ring like you can see. If it's not fitting right, it won't set right. It's a very delicate stage, pushing over the prong on each one in a reverse. If the jeweler's not careful, he can actually damage the stone. This is really one of the hallmark difficulties of the torus ring. Now, of course, once the torus ring has its stone set in the middle, it's just like any other gemstone, setting it in, bending the prongs very gradually like any other tradition. It takes quite a skilled jeweler to be able to set a stone inside of a jewelry piece. Once all the stones are set, the torus ring in the ring, it's off to the finishing room. Again, like before, there's many steps in between. There's not just one step of quick and polish, but they may go through three or four different stages of different polishing compounds in order to get the bright finished look that ends up being what you see on your finger. Quality control is the absolute final stage, inspecting every piece of jewelry that comes off the bench with my Hallmark Taurus ring in it, making sure it's the correct size it's supposed to be, looking very closely under 10 power, making sure every diamond that's paved in that ring that the Taurus ring and the diamonds set in it are to my standard. And of course, this is the way you will see it when it reaches your home and onto your finger.